shortly after the book came out, some friend of mine sent an autographed copy of it to Mahatma Gandhi in India. And he became so interested in it that he sent an emissary over here to the United States to look Napoleon Hill up. He wanted to find out whether I was a ghost driver, the real McCoy, or the real thing. Because he had an idea of giving wide distribution to that book throughout India. They put me on the 24-hour day surveillance through one of the leading detective agencies. And they sent in a report on me day and night for 30 days. And one evening I was over at the Stork Club in New York City with a young lady, a student of mine. And while these investigators couldn't get close enough to my table to hear what was going on, they employed a lip reader. And honestly, he didn't miss a single word. <laughs> I was so glad afterwards I was saying the right thing. He gave a complete, perfect report of what was going on between myself and this uh, young lady student of mine. And when the report went back to Gandhi, he ordered the book published in India. It's been given wide distribution over there, and since that time, every book that I've ever written has been published and widely distributed in India. It went from there to Brazil, where it has been transferred into the Port uh, been translated into the Portuguese language, where it serves Latin American countries. It's been translated into Spanish, and now negotiations for translating it into the German language.